What's up guys? Thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by none other than these guys, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. Why might you want or need a VPN? You can mask your location and browse in complete privacy. It hides your IP address, so depending on what your profession is, you can't get traced or tracked. With the ability to connect to servers all over the world, you'll never be geo-restricted again. If you're in New Zealand, like me, you can watch US TV shows and vice versa. If you're in the States, you can even watch good old Kiwiana. But not only that, Netflix, YouTube, live sports events, and social media networks. Whatever it is, whatever the country, you can access it. You can bypass annoying cookies and escape ad campaigns that won't leave you alone. The technology works by creating a network tunnel each and every time you surf the web, securing the data sent between you and your destination. They have a complete range of plans from one month to two years, whatever suits. They've always got new promotions running. At the moment, a two-year plan at 69% off works out to be $3.67 per month. That's just over 10 cents per day, guys. Go down into the description box below, click the link, check them out, support the channel. Happy days. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I am your host, Jacob McDonald, and what I have in my hot little hands is a piece of NFL memorabilia associated with the Broncos, but unless I put it on the top half of my body, you guys aren't going to see it, so that's what we're going to do. We've actually got some pretty epic pajama pants supporting the Broncos, and seeing as today's player place for the Broncos. I have been meaning to do this for many a video, but today is the day, being the 3rd of September, being a Friday afternoon, and being that I've just finished work. So guys, sit back, relax. I'm going to roll the intro, and I will see you in just a second. Gotta be honest guys, before we continue, this couldn't have turned out any better. So you can expect to see some other pyjama pants around my head in future videos. We have 40 to go guys. We have officially completed three-fifths of the list and, and guys, if that doesn't bring a smile to your face, well, then we can't be friends. Uh, there is one final piece of information that I do want to let you guys know. The first 60 players, so the 60 players that we've already reacted to, were all dropped on a single day on August the 16th. I've just noticed on this number 40 video that the release date is a week after that August 23rd. So I'm so I'm I'm led to believe they did 60, then a week later they did 20, then a week later they did another 20. So being that it's the 3rd of September, I feel like they've only just released the top 20. And yes, unfortunately I have seen who gets the number 1 spot. I'm not going to spoil it. If you guys don't want to know who the number 1 spot is, I've got your back, but I would be surprised if you've spent any amount of time on YouTube lately and not seen who received that number one spot. Was it deserving? Most probably. Was it my pick? No. But all of that and more will be revealed. Today we're looking at a guy named Bradley Chubb. And when I think about the name Chubb, I always, I always think about Nick Chubb, who is a running back for the Browns. In this case, we've got Bradley Chubb. I can't remember whether there's a relation or not, but we will check. So let's begin with Bradley Chubb, linebacker for the Broncos. Hey? All right, guys, for anyone who uh, missed that, uh, Bradley Chubb, Chubb was asked by a fellow teammate whether he played running back and then he went on to say that yeah thanks for asking every time I touch the ball I scored that bitch but I will say that that definitely piqued my interest to hear that he not only played running back but was pretty damn successful It's awesome to see, you know, his improvement from the injury that he had and then come back and have a breakout year that he did is it's pretty phenomenal. Fourth and three, empty backfield. Can Denver make a play on defense? They rush five. Darnold in the pocket. He'll be hit. It's pretty close to have a linebacker, isn't it? Right at the line of scrimmage. And he gets himself a sack. All right, let's look up some stats. 
Actually, he's a lot younger than what I recall. He's 25 years of age, six foot four, 279 pounds. He's an absolute beast. He got picked up in the first round of the 2018 draft with pick number five. And he went to the Broncos. He made his first Pro Bowl appearance last year, played four years at North Carolina State, which you don't really see often, especially for guys who are going to be picked up in that first round. You know, they tend to, or at least in the first 10 picks, they tend to forego their senior season if possible. But Chubb didn't. Chubb was projected to go in the first round of the 2018 draft. During the 2018 NFL scouting combine, he named Von Miller and Khalil Mack as players whom he models his play after. And if you're going to talk about two names in the linebacker position that are basically a guarantee to get on the list, but not only that, in the top 20, yeah, those two guys will take the cake. So as a linebacker, running back in middle school, uh, can you imagine it? Six foot five, hang on, six four or six five? I'm going to say six four and a half. Six four and a half, bigger than, like, that's an inch and a half taller than Derek Henry. He's 270 pounds, that's probably about 15 to 20 pounds heavier than Derek Henry. And he runs a 465 40 yard dash, which is most probably less than 0.1 of a second slower than Derek Henry. He's got a vertical jump of 36 inches, a broad jump of 10 foot one, and a bench press effort of 24 reps. And he signed a rookie deal worth 27 million, which says a lot. They extended the fifth year option on Chubb's contract on April 30th, 2021. And just looking at his stats from last year, 14 games played, 14 games started, 42 combined tackles, 26 solo, and 16 assisted. 7.5 sacks for the season. Nine tackles for loss, 19 hits on the QB, which is actually the first time I've ever seen that stat on Wikipedia. QB hits, literally the first time. Passes deflected, none. He didn't have too much more action, but he did force one fumble. And as far as the relation to Nick Chubb, they are cousins. And believe it or not, they were drafted in the exact same year, which is pretty cool. One with the fifth pick and one with the 35th pick. And I can guarantee the Thanksgiving dinners would be extremely interesting around the Chubb table. Anyway, let's continue. Jack! Bradley Chubb coming back from that AC. He's bigger than I thought. He is a big, big linebacker with speed. Not an easy assignment for any quarterback. The L surgery of last year. And that has to feel good for number 55. He's been one of the real bright spots for this football team. Just speaks for what type of man he is, what type of player he is. After missing 12 games in 2019 with a torn ACL, Bradley Chubb returned in 2020. That's right. We were meant to check why he was out of the game for so long and why he only played four games in 2019, and it is because of a partial tear of his ACL. In that particular game, he left the field due to, an, due to the injury, but briefly returned. And obviously must have got some scans after the game and realized that's your season done. 2020 came back, played 14 games and was voted to the 2021 Pro Bowl. Came back the next year, played 14 games and for his efforts was, was voted to his first Pro Bowl. Congrats. And look every bit the game record he was his rookie season. Coming from the blind side, he was going to the ground and he reached up with his right arm and knocked the ball loose. I remember the first thing I, I thought when I saw him was, this dude is massive. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the biggest dudes I've ever seen. His power. Playing linebacker. Is what makes him. And with the ability to move like that. Special. And then he gets people off guard. You know, you, you think he's just going to bull rush you, and then all of a sudden he hits you with the spin move. If you don't handle this guy, he will disrupt your entire offensive game plan. Oh, Brady did well to hold on to that. Chuck doesn't just disrupt with his today, play huh? on the field. You on one today, huh? You know, with Chubb, uh, he's out there, John, and backing it up in the same instance, you know, it gets you going. Make your body go help. I was waiting to hear what Justin would say. I mean, he's got an opinion on every single other player. He seems to know what he's talking about throughout the league, but certainly with a fellow Broncos player. Make your body go for help. I think I specifically remember, you know, him and uh, him and Ebron going at it when we were playing Pittsburgh. To Connor, Connor will bounce to the right and be hit by Chubb and dropped in the backfield. Tight end Ebron was... Eric Ebron. Knocked about three yards into the backfield. 
you could tell brought that type of energy to the to the guys. Um, on Is that Tebow or Ebron? The defensive side of the ball. Now that was a bit of a low blow. I was a big supporter of uh, uh, Tim Tebow coming back this year. It just didn't work out, did it? Didn't quite have the killer instinct at 34 years of age and about 10 years out of the league. Fair enough. One of those guys that, you know, you come off the ball and, you know, you make good contact with him, you're definitely going to feel him. He is not signing no peace agreements with you on the edge. He's trying to come split your face mask in two. To a hit and dropped, and there's Bradley Chubb with a huge shot. Denver got themselves a great player in him. He's the real deal. Yeah! See, the co I tell you what, the, the difference the difference about tackling in the game of rugby and football was on full display there, okay? He did his job, right? He, he went low, he took the guy to the ground. As soon as your opposite man, as soon as the attacker, as soon as the offensive player touches the ground, the play's over. You don't have to worry about anything else, right? But in rugby, let's say he was to make that same tackle. The guy you know, falls through the tackle. You don't really wrap your arms up. The guy just falls through it and sort of falls falls down on, on one knee or he might even fall, fall to his stomach. But at the end of the day, the play's not over. So Bradley Chubb makes that tackle, but he has to get back up again uh, because that's exactly what the offensive player is going to do. So when I see that, it really, it's interesting because at, at this moment, the play is still going in rugby, right? So there'd be other Broncos coming in. There'd be other you know, Miami players behind him coming over the ball. And basically at this point, you know, as he gets tackled, if he was held, he'd have to release that ball. And then it's up to your teammates to come and secure that ball and continue the play. But seeing as the tackle was incomplete, he's got free reign to jump back up and continue running down the field. So that is where Bradley Chubb would have to bounce back up just as fast and continue running. And I, I just saw that instance and I just, it doesn't happen often, but I did think back to a game of rugby and I thought, and that that's that's the major difference, right? It's the major difference between, you know, training techniques. It's the major difference between the body type and body shape of a, you know, average rugby player as opposed to an average NFL player. You make a play in American football, the play's over. Now, everything I'm saying, remember, is associated with rugby union, not rugby league. Now, if you were going to, look at the game of rugby league which you know it's a whole new set of rules but they are a certain set of rules that are similar more similar to the world of nfl in that after a tackle is completed just like this or after a man is down the play doesn't continue it actually stops they reset the defense goes back 10 meters the attack gets ready for another set and they go similar to the nfl rules but not quite the same <laughs> Similar to NFL rules, but not quite the same. And if I have completely confused you, let me know down in the comment section below and let's continue. He's the real deal. Yeah, <coughs> yeah there's no way you'd be doing snow angels on a rugby field. Because uh, by that point, Fitzpatrick is probably sprinting away for a try. Like I see this as like a last ditch tackle. The fullback, the last guy, probably the equivalent of a free safety coming across making that last ditch tackle, but Fitzpatrick breaking through the tackle. And in football, his knees down, the play's over. In rugby, his knees down, he can get straight back up and continue running. It's just the difference. He has speed, he has power, he has the swagger, and he has the will. Respect him. You know, the sky's the limit for that kid, and you know, he's gonna be... He looks about 6'2", but he's 6'5". Special and top you 10 know. pass rusher in the league for many years to come. Yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Other than, I mean, I enjoyed it. He's an absolute dynamite player. If I was a Broncos fan, you know, if I was a diehard Broncos fan, he'd most probably be one of my favorite players. But uh, at the end of the day, you can only be on one bandwagon at a time. And I'm on the Jacksonville bandwagon. And I'm going to continue to be throughout this season, unless they continue to fucking get rid of players that I like. In which case, I might have to have a wee word with management. They better be on their best behavior throughout this season. But anyways, guys, uh, look, I hope you enjoyed that video. In the next one, we're looking at a quarterback, Kyler Murray, plays for the Cardinals. And he's a gun. He's an absolute gun. Undersized, certainly not underskilled. So guys, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you back here shortly. Have a great day.